I'm Dustin, welcome to Fancy Smack Talk. Hope you all had a nice turkey day, but now it's time to get back to business and get you all ready for those fancy playoffs. Only one week to go. Let's talk about the mustads in all leagues. I'm gonna start with my boy, Roy Hulu. Been saying it all year, so I'm gonna get to, I'm gonna say it one more time, because it's gonna be the last time I get to talk about him on the waiver wire show. He's gonna be there when it counts the most. Only on him 50% of leagues. Hopefully, you're part of the 50% that owns him because he's gonna be big down the stretch, I feel. Because the thing I like most about him is whether the Redskins are up by 20 or down by 20, he's gonna be out on the field because they love him in the passing game. Next, CJ Spiller. I was a little concerned with him as far as if the Bills were gonna give him a full workload, but they did week 12. The bad news is he didn't play that great. But I do think he could have some potential moving forward if they continue to obviously, obviously if they continue to give him this many touches, he will have some potential. Next, let's talk about a couple wide receivers. First one, Crabtree. You know, he has 50 plus yards in five of his last six games. He's, he's starting to get things going. He hasn't been able to find the end zone, but I still like him moving forward. He has a decent playoff matchup. Another guy who has a decent playoff matchup is Santana Moss, only in 60% of leagues. He came off from the injury, came back from injury week 12. Didn't play that great, but I do like Grossman being the quarterback a little bit more than Beck, so I think Moss does have the potential of having value down the stretch if you're looking for a wide receiver. Last must add in all leagues is Mr. Timmy Tebow. Here's why I have him on here. He's only on 65% of leagues right now. He has a really nice, really soft playoff schedule. He's pretty much a lock for 15 plus, plus points. Take a look at your playoff schedule for your quarterback. See if there's any weeks that you don't like and see if there's a chance that you might start Tebow over him. If there is, pick him up, make that decision when that time comes. All right, let's talk about some guys that in deeper leagues. First one, Toby Gerhardt. You know, I don't really believe that AP is going to be back. He might, but there's really no reason to rush him back. So if you can get to, uh, Gerhardt, you might get one more start out of him. Only on 35% right now. Next, an individual defensive player I like in deeper IDP leagues, and that's Perry Riley for the Redskins. Since taking over the starting job for McIntosh, he's been racking up some tackles. I like this guy moving forward. Obviously, the coaching staff likes him since they gave him the starting gig. Decent young uh, linebacker to take a look at. Another quarterback that I like, and that's Matt Moore. He's kind of flying under the radar, but in his last four games, it's been an impressive stretch. He's been averaging about 225 yards, and during that stretch, he has seven touchdowns and only one interception. You know, If you're one of the teams that had Cutler or Schaub, or you're just scrambling for a quarterback in a deeper league, don't, don't hesitate to take a look at Matt Moore. He's putting together a nice stretch. All right, a couple of defenses for you to pick up and play. First one, New England. Owning about 65% of leagues right now. I, I really like them in week 13. They have Indianapolis. You know, New England gives up a ton of yards, but they have been getting some turnovers lately, playing a little bit better lately, and obviously going up against the Colts. You gotta love that matchup. And next, digging a little deeper, I like San Diego this week against Jacksonville. You know, I'm not sure exactly how many sacks they're going to be able to get, but look for a couple of turnovers and a low point total. Jacksonville just can't put points on the board. Last must add in deeper leagues, that's Johnny Knox. Two great games in a row. You know, He has Haney throwing him the ball right now, but Haney showed that he's not afraid to throw the ball downfield to Knox. And obviously Knox gets a boost in leagues that count return yards as well. He's only on a 30% of leagues. You know, who knows, he could be decent down the stretch. You know, Haney obviously showed week 12 that he does have confidence throwing the ball down the field to Knox. And one guy to keep an eye on, kind of an interesting player, and that's Jordan Norwood for Cleveland. Only on in 5% of leagues right now. He's slowly getting a little bit more involved in that offense. They're looking for a spark. You know, he's a, he's a small kind of speedster type receiver. He had a touchdown in week 12. You gotta like that. In really deep leagues, you might consider looking at him if you need a receiver, but he's definitely a guy to keep a close eye on moving forward. This is just a portion of the week 13 waiver wire. See the full list, get onto the website. If you got any questions, post them in the forums. Good luck on the wire this week.